Hey guys, it's Pat here from SimCloud. Uh, this video I wanted to walk through uh, the integration between the SimCloud B2B customer portal uh, or site application and how the fulfillment of an order inside of Sage, so you go to pick, pack, and ship a, a sales order and invoice that out, how that corresponding change within Sage is then communicated to the site in the SimCloud application. So on my screen here, you're seeing, I logged in as a customer through the SimCloud application in our demo site. And there's a couple orders here. You'll see the status is open. So we got 346 and 345. Uh, if we go over to Sage, that's integrated into uh, this, this environment, we'll go into invoice data entry. We will actually generate an invoice for those sales orders. Um, so I'll just go ahead and do one here just for time's sake. So if we go into, excuse me, generate a new invoice number and we tie that to the sales order number, the 346, we'll grab that one. And then we'll put in some tracking information. So some customers leverage solutions like um, B Technologies or Starship that auto populates some of this information. But as soon as the information is populated into the invoice um, header record and the tracking uh, number, that information is then pulled up to the site once you update the daily sales journal, uh, which is just part of that general accounting practice and, and how the, the, the process works within your accounting software that then corresponds to the site. So uh, if we go through and accept that, and we're gonna ship this information or sh ship the sales order out rather. So we pick, packed and shipped the coffee makers that were um, ordered by this customer through the web. So that, uh, that order actually was generated through the website, came through, pick, pack and ship, fill the order. And then if we go through and update the daily sales uh, report, Demo here, I gotta hack this a little bit, so get me a second. So this is all updated. So general process, this may be a little bit different from your standard process internally, but um, nevertheless, it all works the same. Once this is updated, we're not gonna print that. We are gonna update this daily sales journal and we're not gonna print that. So once it's updated, the site then corresponds um, or presents that corresponding information that's been updated and the shipment tracking is now presented to the customer. So they're on terms actually, this particular user, they're net uh, 30, I believe, uh, on the, the terms code there for this account. So when we go over to the website and we give it just a second hit refresh. And also there's system emails that can be sent out either through the Sage system of, hey, your order's been shipped, here's the tracking information. Um, you can set up a system email within the SimCloud application of, hey, your order shipped, here's the tracking information. And you can also pay your invoice online, which is a key component of the SimCloud application. So if we now go to here and give it just a second, you should see, I think I beat it back up here. It takes about 30 seconds or so to, to process that information. Our web database captures it and then it updates the site. So going through some validation there on the back end, and you can see, all right, sweet. So it has come back up. So if I go back to this main screen, well, actually, let me show you here first. So essentially, you got the ship date. Um, you have the FedEx ship via code. And then here's the invoice we just generated and the tracking information that I put in there. Um, that's coming from the invoice header. Also, there's a comment. So we can pass up the comment field as well just to communicate that to the customer. And now they can click on the invoice. And this is just one mechanism to get to the invoice. But you'll see... Um, this, these are the details here of invoice date. Here's the due date, um, and then they can actually pay now. So uh, in the next video, I'll go through making a payment on the website inside of SimCloud application and how that corresponds and generates uh, a cash receipt actually for you guys inside of Sage 100. So thanks for watching and uh, click the next video to see more details.